hello queens and kings welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back welcome to day one of this series as we'll be doing this necklace i was jotting down um the foundation so here's my necklace the blue spot is still there by the way my heart <laughs> okay let me put it this way because it's a quite long necklace. This was a request that I got Shem. She <laughs> requested more than once. I was quite afraid to do it because I was not quite confident that I could do it. But after practicing and practicing trial and error, doing untying, tying, untying, I am confident that I got it right. <laughs> Okay, so for this pattern, you will need, this is a nice necklace. So for this pattern, you'll need a belt. My one is the one that we were doing throughout, not throughout, my previous video. So the belt has to be, has to be in a way that is like a choker on your neck that's how when i've looked at a couple of designs online it's supposed to stick to your neck like a choker and the size that i made going down the necklace part of it is long to a point where it overlaps a bit out of my shoulder so let's get started today we'll just be doing the foundation the first row of this necklace and i'm quite excited to do it with you so another thing that i would advise when doing this necklace is that you should choose one color as you can see here i decided on this glossy brown bead you should choose a color bead that will not be part of the entire um, colors but that we'll use to just separate the colors in between i hope that makes sense yeah so you choose one color bead that will not be part of these colors but will be separating the colors of the beads okay so let's get started so let's get started. So this is where you start. This is where you start with your belt. You do your belt separately. Whether how thick you want your belt to be, what pattern will be on your belt is all up to you. It's your design. By the way, this is the inspiration that we're going for. I got it online. This picture is the picture. I got it on Pinterest, by the way. This picture is the picture that taught me this pattern <laughs> if you go on pinterest you'll see a lot of ideas and you'll get really really inspired and i would suggest that if you're looking for inspiration you can go there too yo every time i go on pinterest i get so inspired so this is my belt now from the belt there is always two beads that are on the outside and the space two beads and a gap two beads and a gap so that is the place the area that we are going to be working on so i have my needle here and my upholstery thread i'm using a single thread and i made one knot so depending on the corner that you choose to do your necklace where you choose to start whether on this corner or whether on that corner you're going to pick up a one stopper bead that will be the color of the corner that you're starting on so in this case i am going to pick up one white bead and make a stopper bead Here's my one white bead and then I'm going to push it down 
at the end of my thread i made two knots one on top of the other and then i'm going to take my needle and insert my needle in the opposite direction and then i pull so i'm going to have a situation like this then i'm going to take my needle so we have the first two white beads a space in between the two white beads the space in between the white and the black bead the space in between that's at those are the places that we're going to work in i'm going to insert my needle on the first two white beads and only on those two white beads my thread will be hanging let me put it like this because we're going down my thread will be hanging on the two spaces the spaces i'm sorry that are in between those the two white beads throughout our belt that is where we're going to build on so now i'm going to first the found the number of beads in the foundation i'm going to write them down in the description below so i'm going to start off with my three white bead and my one um let me call it my neutral bead because it's that color bead that will be in between that will be separating each and every color okay so this is my three white and my um, I would say my neutral color and then three orange and my neutral color and then three yellow and my neutral color and then three red and my neutral color and then three blue and my neutral color so as you can see as we continue every time when you put in a color you it always has to be followed by a neutral color which is the color that's not part of the the pattern but it divides the colors it's like a, <laughs> a catalyst that it's not part of the reaction, but it helps the reaction to take place. Okay, so now I'm going to change my number, the number of beads. I, I was on three, now I'm going to level up and go to five. Okay, so here is my dark green and my neutral color. And then my light green and my neutral color and then they're all five beads ne? the color of the beads they're all five so i had five dark green remember here i was on three now i'm on five 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 white and my neutral color and then five blue and my neutral color so now, as I continue, I'm going to level up. Move from 5 to 8. When it comes to the number of beads here, you start with small number. You start with 3. This, the, let me show you the, the, the numbers that are, the number beads that are compulsory. Uh, this 3, the first 2, 3, those 2 beads are compulsory. The number of beads th that you will do after this two three, it's all up to you. But the first two three, they are compulsory. You need them, hook or crook. So now we moved from three to five. Now I I decided to move from five to eight. If you want to move from five to six, if you want to move from five to 
or if you want to continue staying on five, it's all up to you. Okay, so for the eight, I decided to have two groups of colors. I decided to have the first group, with, which was my red group, eight group, eight beads with my neutral color. And then I've decided uh, on having my orange next. I've then my neutral color. Remember, the neutral color every time. When you change the color, you put on your neutral color. Change the color, you put on a neutral color. So from 8, I moved to 10, a group of 10 beads. So here's my group of 10. Then my 10 yellow and my neutral color. My 10 white and my neutral color. And then my 10 dark green and my neutral color. Now I'm going to move on to one more, which is my 12, my group of 12. But I've only decided on having only one color for 12 and then I'm done. This is my last group of color, my blue and my neutral color. So I have 12 blue um, beads and my neutral color. So this is the size. Let me just show you how long. So it's exactly 22 centimeters and 9 inches. Let me see my measuring tape oh it's almost nine inches maybe almost nine inches i think maybe it's an 8.8 8 inches yes so this is the length the length if you want the length to be short you can stop halfway if you want the length to be longer than this you can continue if you wanted to overlap your shoulders you can continue it's okay it is all up to you as long as whatever number group of number but another thing you always have to have your neutral colors dividing the the group of numbers so you start from a small number and as you go down you increase your number from small and as you go down increase your number so i'm going to pick up my last four beads for my floral from my flower at the bottom so i decided on four red beads then i'm going to insert my needle on the first bead from the four beads that we just picked up only on that bead insert your needle and then pull in an opposite direction and here we have our flower here we have our flower so we're going to continue from tomorrow we're going to go up oh another thing Another thing that I, I must not forget. For your group of colors. Remember it's all up to you. But the number of group of colors that you have. They have to be an odd number. So any number that you divide by two that has a remainder. They have to be that number. For example for this one. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 groups of colors. So any so a group of colors should always be an odd number because it's going to catch up with us here 
at the top. With this pattern that we're doing, the tricky part is only is joining our belt with the necklace part and also with our dividers too. Okay, queens and kings. Oh, another thing. For the queen or the king that requested this, please tell me if I'm on the right track, if this is the right request that you were talking about. I think it's admin, admin, if I'm not mistaken. Please tell me if this is the request that you were talking about. This is the necklace that you meant. If it's not, please tell me again um, the one that you mean. We're still going to continue this one tomorrow with day two. Very, very exciting. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow on tomorrow's video as we go up. And then another video as we go down. And then we're done on day three. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you on the next video. Tomorrow. Day two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye.